Alexa, play Appenzeller Yodel playlist on Spotify. Appenzeller Yodel from Spotify. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and today I'm talking about whole house audio using my Amazon Echo. I have an Echo Dot on top of my refrigerator, and I have it hooked up to an amplifier that has speakers all throughout the house. Let me show you. See, there's little speakers right on top of my china cabinet, right there. I've got speakers in the ceiling of my sunroom, right up there. And I've also got speakers in the living room next to the couch. Now that's all controlled by this amplifier. And you can see I even have a, an output out by the pool. I can put speakers out at the pool, turn on each individual speaker the way that I want. So I did a video on this solution last year and I got called out by a couple of my subscribers saying, that's not whole house audio. All you did was connect a dot. That's not a big deal. They wanted to hear how could you have multi-room audio? They said that's what they thought they were clicking on and they felt jilted. Well, I don't have multiple echoes and I'm not an expert at that, but I do have a friend, her name is Rose and she has a YouTube channel called It's Rose and I asked Rose to do a proof of concept for me because she had multiple echoes. So take a look and see what Rose had to say. Hey y'all, it's Rose and it is very nice to meet you. I'm going to make today's video short and sweet, but before we get started, I recommend that you mute your ALEXA enabled devices. Amazon launched multi-room audio in August and they've recently expanded the features abilities. Today we're going to talk about five things you need to know about using your Echo devices for multi-room audio, starting with compatible devices. For multi-room music to work, you'll need an Echo, Echo Dot, or Echo Show. Echo Tap, Look, and Fire TV are not supported. The second thing you need to know is that it's Echo devices only for now. Even third-party devices like Sonos One that have the power of Alexa embedded into the device can't group with your Echo devices for multi-room audio. Amazon has launched a software development kit to address this, but for now, you can't mix your Echo devices and third-party speakers using the Alexa app. With the right devices in place, you'll head to the Alexa app, Click the hamburger menu, settings, and then multi-room music. From here, create a group. Select the second option, which is Amazon multi-room music group. Choose your group and add your devices. Here you'll see that my devices are grayed out, but that's because I've already added them to a group. Echo devices can only belong to one group at a time, but you can divide them up. For example, if you have five Echo devices, you can put two of them in one group, two of them in another, and leave the fifth one out. Keep in mind that your group name is also your command phrase name. Alexa, play Thinking Out Loud everywhere. Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran, playing on the Everywhere group. At first, multi-room audio only worked with select services. Last month, they expanded that list to include Spotify and SiriusXM. Amazon Music, Prime Music, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Pandora are also options. I've tested Amazon Music, Spotify, and Pandora, and they all work great. Alexa, play Brown Eyed Girl Radio on Pandora on Everywhere. Brown Eyed Girl Radio from Rose's Pandora, playing on the Everywhere group. Which brings us to number five, plug it in. Let's be honest, an Echo speaker isn't going to wow your party guest. One solution to that problem is to plug it into a higher quality speaker. While you can't stream to a Bluetooth connected speaker, you can connect your Echo device to a speaker using an audio cable. All of the Gen 2 Echo devices can connect using an audio cable except for Echo Show. And with point five concluded, I'm going to send you all back to Chris. Well, thanks, Rose, for answering that question for my viewers. You definitely did a great job on how to use multiple echoes around your house. And uh, if you guys have any comments or questions for me or Rose, just put them in the comments below, and uh, we'll be sure to get back to you. In addition, if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to collaborate on a video the way that Rose and I just did, just let me know, all right? 
and subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Be sure to subscribe to Rose's channel called It's Rose on YouTube for her very professional, unbiased reviews of smart home technology. Look for the link in the video description below.